quite a few threats that the CISA face every day, and all of them are human related. Um, a big one would be the fishing industry and uh, them getting caught and entangled in nets. And I mean, we've seen some with nets around them and a lot with scars from, from nets and from fishing incidents. And really in their habitat, if you go out there, the fishing nets are, are set up everywhere, some of the set nets. For most of CETUS has been doing surveys of the population using mark recapture, so photo ID. Um, and it's really important to get an, an estimate of the population size. Um, the dolphins are only discovered scientifically in 2002, so we're not really sure what the um, previous population size was before that time, but it's important to monitor it uh, to see with all the um, increasing threats whether or not the population is, is de in decline. And uh, so far, they've, um, John and Situ primarily have been able to uh, get this population listed as critically endangered under the IUCN Red List because of their mark recapture estimates of the population. So it's really important to bring, um, bring everyone up to speed with the, the situation that these dolphins are facing. See the species going. Um, it depends really on what what happens in Taiwan and in in the world in general. I mean, most of the products made in Taiwan that are polluting dolphins uh, go to places like North America and fishing and all the threats in Taiwan are poorly regulated. And um, so, without some kind of gov government stepping up and, and saying what needs to be done for these SUSA. Uh, I don't really think that they have that great of chance of survival. They're, the population size is, is pretty low as of now. I think the published estimate is around 99 individuals for this population, which is quite low. And, uh, whether or not they'll be able to sustain themselves with these low numbers is even without the threats is, is hard to say. The species is going to continue. Many other populations elsewhere, but uh, this subpopulation is, is most likely going to die off if we don't change anything um, or if we don't, if we continue with the way that things are going and based on what I've seen I don't think there will be much change soon.